Okay, so there's been a few people talking about tires lately, especially with the seasons changing. So we've got Infera, RU5s, of course, obviously, SUV. Um, these are the 275 4020s. They are mounted on Koenig. Uh, they are the on the back, we've got the uh, 20 by 11s. These are, I'm trying to find where it's at. Um, 106W, I don't know if you can see that because of the sun. They are the 106Ws on the rear. Uh, so they are gonna be limited to like the 160 range. Uh, on the front, ah, kinda limited because of the sun. We are the N500 Plus. And we're running 245, uh, 45ZR20s with a 103W on the front. Um, and these are mounted on Koenig's uh, 20 by 9 and a half on the front. Now, this is an MPT tuned. Uh, now, right now it is just running the 91 performance tune. Um, we have JBA exhaust, three inch, uh, long tube headers with high flow cats, X pipe. Um, mount that up there. Hopefully you can hear me okay. We will try to uh, keep everything down to a minimum. Get seatbelt on here. We'll watch everything around here. All right. So, I wanted to show how well the Nexon tires do. Com you know, obviously I can't really compare them because I don't have anything to compare them to, but I can tell you that we had the P0 Neros on this, and even my wife, just under normal driving, thought, man, this car has so much power, I have no traction, and then Going through a car wash and coming out, she thought, what in the world is wrong with these tires that they have absolutely no traction whatsoever? Um, she just, I mean, you can drive two miles after a car wash and have no traction. And so, there, she just, you know, to have... To have a my wife now my wife is very mechanically inclined so she's kind of above what you would expect for some women I'm not gonna say all because there there's some women they just rock but for the average woman to just you know be like look there's something wrong with these tires man they just don't grip you know and she was used to having you know SU1s on her old Mustang which we had a V6 Mustang and she thought that man it was just the power difference between the coyote and the six was what was causing it on dry pavement but then she really was kind of wondering what the hell now i'm going to kind of wait here for a minute because i want to wait for some clear traffic so i can show you that on a full send these nexons will actually uh, hold up on a full send dry pavement now on wet pavement i actually trust these tires even at 120 miles an hour, maybe a little more. Yeah, storage filled up, so it's gonna be a split video. All right, so here we go again. I'm gonna show you that on a full send, here we go, full send. Not a single bit of slip whatsoever, not a chirp, nothing. That was full braking too. Nothing. These things are just monsters of tires for um, what they are. Here, we'll go again. Brakes, 
hard as I can press. And nothing. The brakes that are on this are actually the, uh, um, they're not the standard brakes that you have on the 2013 GTs. These are actually the larger size that come with the California Specials. They are a Ford Performance Brembo um, size, which I upgraded to the EBC. Um, these things are phenomenal brakes. So when you're talking full braking, absolutely no ABS kicking in. Um, just as you heard, minor, 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 actually I should have had the window down. You know what, let me roll the windows down so you can actually hear. Sorry about that, I'm dumb. Let's try that one more time. I'm a freaking idiot. I just don't like doing this in traffic. But I'm heading out of town for work, so this is kind of my only time to do this. But I do want to show you guys that these Nexons are phenomenal, and I'm trying to make sure that you can hear me as well. So here we go. We're going to try this again. We're going to try a full send. All right, here we go. Full send, dead stop. ABS does not kick in at all. And that was me pressing. I, ooh, holy crap, I can smell the brakes. Oops. Probably the rear brakes. Need to roll into this for a little bit to cool the brakes off. I don't like just stopping and letting the brakes, uh, you know, just dropping temperature on their own. I like to let them cool, on, you know, with a little bit of driving. But, so you guys can see, the Nexons actually grip unbelievably. And we do have the uh, pump on the transmission turned up. Uh, it is a 20% uh, um, plus on the transmission. So, and if I were to downshift, Again, nothing. Uh, these tires just dead hook. They just hook. Uh, they. I can't say enough about them. Um, I've got. I'm gonna try to edit this where I've got a picture to show. Uh, and I got some videos of us in the snow and I'll try to get those in there as well to show you guys these things actually worked in the snow we were, we had blizzard like now of course I get it we're not Chicago we're not you know um, Minnesota or you know Montana or anything like that but we had 90 mile per hour winds seven we had sustained 50 to 60 mile per hour winds with um, up to uh, 90 mile per hour gusts and we had snow that was 8 inches on up and uh, the uh, the tires you know even just in the ice in the snow getting stuck on a bridge going uphill um, the tires actually grip there's a bridge that they close off because nobody can make it up once it once it ices up in the winter time or once it you know once there's snow on it pretty much nobody can make it up so they just block it off um, they hadn't blocked it off yet and we got stuck on it and a car got right up on my tail so I was really worried I was gonna be in trouble hey, look at that got some beasts right there too besides that fox body back there but uh but anyhow sorry i love mustangs um 
I love all cars. Look at this one right here too. Um, but uh, but anyhow, um, you know it. I actually was able to accelerate, no slipping whatsoever, and actually the SUV that was front wheel drive um, was slipping next to me, and I could have actually taken off a lot faster than I did, and I took off faster than the SUV in front of me, or next to me, excuse me, and uh, it was like a little Honda CRV or something like that, and I mean, these things just worked. So, but anyhow, um, you know, if you have any other questions or comments, just put them below, and I'll be more than happy to, to answer them, and I hope you guys... Boys, this is what we're going through. You hear the fish tail right here? All right.